Hey guys, in this video I'm just going to show off some of the past projects I've done using the uh, Send Cut Send Metal Laser Cutting Service. First of all, this is not a paid product placement, I just really like the service. It's super easy to design custom brackets and, and uh, other various metal objects for your projects to give them a more professional look. And they're reasonably inexpensive as well. So uh, I guess we'll start off with radio control. This is a, uh, an RC-10 chassis. It's made out of, I believe that's maybe 3 8 inch aluminum plate. This is a Vespa rear turn signal mount, and actually it starts out as this flat piece, and then I bend the ends in a bending brake, so that gives you those right angles. And the turn signals just mount through those holes like that. And these are front turn signal brackets. Again, there's a bend right here, and I've got one for, for each side. This has an extra hole on this one side to mount a mirror. And these are turn signal brackets for a Honda CB77, and all of these brackets so far have been made out of stainless steel. You can see this one has a light etching. This is a brake stay. So that's called outline etching versus this, which is called fill etching. And it's a, it's a darker etching and you can see it a little bit easier. This is a thread gauge that I made. The idea being that you could tap all of these holes and be able to tell what thread a screw is. This is a pretty big piece and it's also outline etched, but because this is normal mild steel, I think it oxidized in a way that you can see it a little bit easier. This is part of a stand that I designed to hold the back end of an Alpheta transaxle while it's being worked on. This is an aluminum dash plate that I designed and this fits in the dashboard of a Fiat 124 Spider. This is the original. It's like a paper cardboard material with some veneer on it. So I uh, decided to make an aluminum one and uh, it has these cutouts for the two indicator lights and actually I made a couple of them. There's a completely blank plate. There's one for a single switch. This is a block off plate. It also has, this is a block off plate that I designed for the Fiat 124 Spider. It also has that outline etch there. It's not very easy to see. It's a little bit faint. These are kind of neat. These are turn signal brackets for Fiat 124 Spider. And they start out like this. And then I put two 90 degree bends in it. And these are for if you remove the front bumper and you want to mount turn signals poking through the, the bumper strut holes. This is a gearbox to take two brushless DC motors and transmit the power through some gears into a belt drive. And this was intended for converting a mini bike to electric power. This is a thin piece of aluminum and it's meant for mounting a foam aftermarket air filter to a Weber DFV carburetor. Uh, this is a thicker piece of aluminum, and it's just a spacer that goes between the carburetor and this mounting plate. I've also made a blank version of that mounting plate, so same air filter, but you can drill holes in this and cut out sections to mount it to any carburetor. I think this is the last piece I have. This is a water pump block-off plate. Um, it actually has a radiator hose adapter on it, and the idea behind this piece is that Fiat 600s and 850s have this appendage coming off of the, the side of the engine block, and at the end of that there's the water pump and the mechanical cooling fan right next to the radiator. Using an adapter like this, you can remove the water, big heavy water pump, put this piece on, and have a radiator hose going to an electric water pump and use an electric cooling fan. So again, this was just a quick video showing some of the metal parts that I've made using the Send Cut Send service, and I'll obviously have a link to the website in my description. I tend to stick to aluminum and stainless steel because most of the things that I design are for automotive or motorcycle applications, so weight and corrosion resistance are some of the main factors that I'm looking for. Um, however, they also have brass, titanium, various other metals. Um, there's a, a cool uh, iron-based metal that, that oxidizes in a very visually pleasing way for signs and, and various other stuff. If you go to their website, they've got a, a huge selection of customer projects, and it's really cool to see what you can do with just some flat pieces of metal.